Hi and welcome to the video. <laughs> uh, not aviation this time. Uh, this is a, 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 a separate project. And the majority of it is in here. Uh, so, join me and I'll talk you through what I'm up to. Diversion from aviation. Uh, my new project uh, is, well, different. A recumbent uh, tricycle, also known as a tadpole trike. Uh, quite low set. Uh, now, I looked at buying one and they're expensive. About two and a half thousand pounds. Uh, at the moment and if you have an electrified one uh, about three and a half three to three and a half thousand pounds so you know me uh, I'm a bit of a Scotsman and as such I'm not paying that much money uh, I plan to do this project for under a thousand pounds and that's for an electrified uh, variant. So to that end, I've got two second-hand bicycles at the moment. I'm about to pick up a third one, which I paid a whole £16.12p and for. Okay, let's see if I can reclaim some bits. I'm going to try and reclaim some of these little brackets, which seem to be, uh, well, these ones are riveted on. So I'm going to steal those. These ones here, I'm not sure what, what's happened to those, but we'll do these ones first off. Those, uh, those little brackets look, uh, look quite good. Hopefully I'll be able to use them. It'd be a shame not, not to as they have riveted into position. Uh, I'll show you a bit of an issue. Uh, yeah, I wanted to extract the, 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 the cranks off here and uh, normally you put, put a thread so, uh, a crank extractor in but there's no threads it's uh, the, these pedals are well you know they so corroded that uh, and they don't look like they ever had it so uh, I'm gonna have to uh, use the impact uh, extraction device for those okay so uh, I've taken the uh, Taking this crank set off and uh, if you look in there, there is a thread for the extractor but the thing is so corroded it wasn't going to go in and uh, you can sort of see the teeth are quite worn not looking particularly good uh, and <laughs> well uh, the, the, the pedals are uh, yeah, I can turn it up like that. So the pedals would be in need of so the bearings have gone in the pedals, unfortunately. I'd like to quite quite like to have used those. Uh, and uh, as for the, this, I that's as much as I can turn it. But I'm still may you uh, still looking to use this section here. I'll replace that bottom bracket. I'll see what comes out of that bike or the third bike see see what uh, what we can actually salvage but this moment in time uh, this the bracket the bottom bracket section the bearings are, are in no fit state for, for for use at all so we'll see what happens okay piles a bit 
Uh, just for your information, right, it, it's the Atomic Zombie uh, site is where I got uh, information on building, uh, well, got the, they call them plans, but they're not, they're instructions for building uh, a tadpole trikes and bits and pieces. They've got lots of things. For 19 95 that's dollars uh, you get 40 sets of instructions 5,000 sheets or something I think they say loads of sheets of stuff if you wanted to for a different type of recumbent bicycles trikes single wheels at the front choppers you name it there's, there's all sorts of wacky and weird uh, machines on there but uh, basically I'm picking up using the Street Fox which is a suspension rear end ended uh, tadpole trike and the warrior racer which is a fixed rear end and uh, I'm making as is normal for me a hybrid of the two uh, and putting my own twists on things as all you know as, as I always do so uh, I used uh, I bought three bikes and I spent 70 pounds total on the three bikes uh, so I can't really complain uh, one of which supplied me with a, a, a couple of pieces not a lot and uh, two of them supplied me with the majority of pieces I need to make up the main frame section of this uh, this recumbent trike so I've kept things like um, the, the seat posts uh, I've got kept the, the, the adjustable end of the seat post things there um, I've got the tops of the um, handlebars uh, again seat post uh, upper mounting I can put things into that and clamp it I've kept the brakes uh, I don't think I'll be able to use them I'm going to go over to disc brakes at the rear uh, the rear suspension was the old-fashioned uh, rubber donut type so that's got to have a good chunk of work done to that to, to convert it over to the coil spring damper type that's what's going to happen to that anyway and I'm going to be modifying the lower end down here uh, with these pieces taken off one of the bikes so that I can use the more modern uh, style uh, derailleur I've got one rear derailleur that looks usable unfortunately it's part of the front one was worn out uh, but I'm keeping the other other ones as well because I might use those as uh, chain guides for the uh, the return chain so it doesn't sl slop all over the place uh, with the suspension uh, cut lugs off to for the, the suspension mounts although I'll probably make ones which I, I like with a decent depth but I've got those as a, as a rough uh, guide on life uh, I, I tend to do these things around this bottom bracket this one I'll probably end up throwing it away because uh, this section here has got the extra bits and pieces on it from where suspension was mounted so I probably won't use that I'm more likely to use this one I've kept it quite long at the moment uh, it'll more than likely be chopped off about here uh, and there'll be various bits of handlebars welded on and uh, to, to, to things uh, in all sorts of areas so that I can uh, operate this as an electric trike um, so I'm not quite sure what I'm going to be keeping uh, precisely I, I've, I've been a bit of a magpie on it and uh, you know like I've cut these cable mount sections off so I think I can actually uh, clean those up a fair amount uh, and weld those tack weld those into position uh, onto the frame uh, and use those to uh, to guide my, uh, my my cables so uh, yeah I, I, I've tried to use as much as I possibly can uh, I'm trying to do it a little bit on a budget but there we go and uh, so I've got a pile of wheels there that are going to get sold and the way things are going I'll probably make half the money back on the bikes on the wheels uh, the reason I'm getting rid of all of those is well 
the wheel comes with my electric conversion well the rear wheels does I've got two front wheels over here along with uh, a bit of steel another bit of steel plate uh, and things so I'm getting ready to, to deal with uh, the, the build and um, I've already shown you the tubes uh, where I've got a steel box section so getting close to being able to start uh, all in the nice neat tidy relatively tidy uh, workshop uh, hmm. oh, I've forgotten there's my helper uh, he's whinging about what are you whinging about yeah yeah funny animal aren't you yes you are yeah so uh, right I think that'll probably be it this is the initial prep work uh, and you've had an introduction to uh, the uh, the tadpole uh, and uh, we'll see how we get along building this uh, this machine <laughs> oh it's something different I've uh, I've never built one in my life I've built some bicycles in my time but I've never built a, a recumbent trike and uh, I've always wanted one so uh, I want to be a little bit different and I'm not paying the money I'm going to do it myself you know what I'm like <laughs> I keep on saying it you know what I'm like well you, you might do you might not but uh, 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 build your own airplane build your own uh, recumbent trike restore cars I put my hands to pretty much most things if it's engineering so we'll see what happens with this one in the future well folks, uh, I think I'll call it quits there, uh, I'll, I'll organise this a lot and uh, then, uh, in the next video to do with the tadpole, that's what I'm going to call it, the tadpole, uh, we'll start making a little bit of a uh, forward uh, work on uh, actually making some bits or servicing some bits so that we can actually make some progress going forward uh, I don't think this is going to be as long a project as the airplane at least I hope not but I hope you in, will enjoy it and will carry on uh, following through on it uh, just for the sheer sake of, uh, of, of the engineering and the flying videos for the uh, Yates Lakes the Fisher youngster will still be coming through uh, I'm going to be doing uh, a fair chunk on uh, on those uh, giving you a description of uh, what I'm actually doing on the flight test regime until we've got the flight testing sorted out and then hopefully we start making uh, some trips to places we'll see uh, how things are and uh, hopefully we'll have a bit of fun so keep fit and well and uh, hopefully you will join me in the next video. <laughs> Bye now.